Hey everyone, it's Lola. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be talking about Down syndrome. Down syndrome is a genetic condition that uh, causes a mild to serious uh, uh, developmental and physical issues. Uh, people with Down syndrome has an extra copy of chromosome. This extra copy of chromosome can be happened by an error in the cell division because normally we receive 23 pairs of chromosome from our mother and 23 pairs of chromosome from our father. So people with Down syndrome, instead of having a two copy of chromosome 21, will have uh, or will get three copies of uh, chromosome 21. Trisomy 21 or Down syndrome is completely random so it can happen at any age, any races and any background and also young uh, mothers can have uh, a chance to have a baby with Down syndrome but uh, the older mother has a high uh, statistical chance of happening or having a baby with uh, Down syndrome. So, um, trisomy 21, also it's a lifelong condition, until now has no cure, but uh, it can be offered a prevention uh, a diagnostic or screening test during pregnancy as well. People with Down syndrome can have many effects and it's different for each person. Uh, some people can uh, grow and live by on their own, but others uh, will uh, need help uh, of taking care of themselves. Mental abilities vary uh, in people with Down syndrome from uh, a mild to moderate uh, issue with thinking, understanding and reasoning. And there are so uh, and a lot of characteristic and features that are common in Down syndrome people, such as um, uh, round faces, uh, flat uh, nasal uh, bridge, uh, small ears, uh, eyes shaped like almonds, um, uh, small hands, short uh, fingers, and also can present uh, clinodactyly at the fifth finger. Uh, also can uh, present hypothonia as well, low muscle tone, uh, loose joints, and 50% uh, of people with Down syndrome can present uh, cardiac diseases and also problem, uh, problems in hearing and uh, seeing. Also, they have a risk of uh, high risk 10 times of developing leukemia, 4 times risk of developing testicular cancer and uh, also they have, uh, as I said, uh, uh, small hands and they present a, trans a transversal palmar uh, line and so many other uh, symptoms that uh, has been considered in Down syndrome uh, cases. The main causes uh, of having a baby or a person with the Down syndrome are three types. The first type which is considered as a primary Down syndrome and it's the most common type in which when occurred uh, when there's a meiotic node disjunction in which uh, homologous chromosome pair uh, fails to separate in uh, the meiotic uh, uh, phase uh, one, uh, mostly in the uh, phase uh, one, and, and it's considered as 95% of the cases of uh, Down syndrome, in which all the copies have 21st set of chromosome are triplicate as well. The second type, which is uh, translocation, translocation uh, where uh, an extra genetic material is attached to the uh, chromosome. Uh, the set of 21st set of chromosome and uh, it can be as uh, 
attached to a piece of chromosome so instead of being on their own it has to be attached to another chromosome the most uh, uh, frequented cases are occurred in a robertsonian translocation a robertsonian translocation when occur it occurred in the five types of acrocentric chromosome which are 13 14 15 21 and 22 the f uh, the most uh, common um, a case is a cure between the uh, 14 chromosome and the 21st uh, uh, chromosome. So it's between the 14 and 21 chromosome. The third type, which is mosaic, and it's the rarest type. It's a cure in between 1 to 2% of the cases, in which we have in some. Uh, uh, copy we have 21st set of chromosome are triplicate and the other are not affected as well which leads to have uh, a mild uh, and a fewer uh, physical feature in Down syndrome so it's a mild Down syndrome as well because it's not found in each cell of uh, the human so it's not found three copies of uh, chromosome 21 in all cells. So, as a routine, during pregnancy, the woman is allowed to check if it's likely to have a baby with Down syndrome. And in the first trimester, uh, it can be done uh, what is called screening test. By screening test, the first thing that it can be offered to a woman in pregnancy is uh, the combined test. Combined test to go and detect uh, the measure of the a protein level which is called the PAP-A and also the hormones which is called the HCG and if there's uh, they are positive uh, or are in balance as a measure um, also allow me to see the um, ultrasound which is nu uh, nuclear resolution CNT and also FHR which is fetal heart ratio by NET uh, which in Down syndrome cases the fluid is present in extra fluid uh, behind the neck of the fetus so it's a measure of the fold of the tissue that present uh, behind the neck of the fetus so if they are uh, those uh, the combined tests will give me uh, a statistical result such as a high risk or intermediate risk or low risk so if we have a high risk of combined test we can offer it always in the first trimester uh, between the 11 and the 13 weeks of gestation what is called the nipped to go to see the um, DNA fragments uh, of uh, the baby uh, from our blood so it's not invasive at all and have also an efficacy more high than the combined test by 99% of um, efficacy to detect Down syndrome and it's a statistical test as well so if also the NIP test show me a uh, high risk to uh, have a baby with Down syndrome I'll offer to uh, the woman a diagnostic test such as the synthesis depends on the weeks of gestation uh, or amnesynthesis which is advanced it can be done in um, till 16 weeks of gestation and even though if she wants uh, she can do it uh, after the 16 weeks of gestation uh, we have to consider it as an invasive test we have a minimal risk of uh, losing the pregnancy Moving on, I would like to share some cases that I already saw in the polyclinic which are associated with the Down syndrome and uh, there are so many cases that are related to the maternal age because as we know, uh, the maternal age increased the risk of having a baby with trisomy at 21. So for all the women that are in advanced pregnancy, so they are more than 25 years old, uh, it's offered to do an invasive test which is more uh, efficacious uh, and which is photosynthesis or amnesynthesis but we have to inform her to uh, that she has to know the minimal risk of uh, having a miscarriage while we're doing the process of the photosynthesis or the amniosynthesis 
Uh, plus another case that um, I already saw also in the polyclinic where about a woman that has 25 years old and she got two uh, miscarriages and after the second miscarriage uh, we offered her to do a karyotype even though she uh, she could like uh, have a biopsy on the fetus but at the time she didn't do it so uh, we offered her a karyotype and by doing the karyotype for the woman and even though for the partner we uh, realized that she has a translocation uh, in her gametes uh, between the two acrocentric chromosome the uh, 13 chromosome and the 21 uh, which lead us to understand the cause of the miscarriage uh, because although she has a balanced translocation in her gametes but leads her to produce an unbalanced uh, gamete and leads her to have uh, a monosomy or a trisomy so monosomy which are not viable at life uh, with life and the trisomy as well which can lead her to have a baby with Down syndrome also I have to talk about the recurrence risk the recurrence risk as I said before um, it increased by the maternal age and it can increase by hereditary which is considered as translocation so if we have a family that are carrier for translocation uh, translocation uh, Robertsonian uh, between the two acrocentric chromosome which leads uh, to have a risk uh, to have a baby uh, with uh, Down syndrome and also having one baby with Down syndrome will lead to have a high risk to have another baby with Down syndrome. Last but not least, I would like to uh, talk about the importance of the genetic uh, counseling in such cases. So in Down syndrome, for example, we cannot prevent Down syndrome, but uh, a genetic counselor can let you understand and help you understand the chance of uh, a couple to have a baby with Down syndrome and also to uh, let you understand the importance of the prenatal test, the screening and the combined test uh, and also the NIPT and to know uh, the false positive rate of the test uh, also the invasive test which uh, the minimal risk to have a miscarriage is 1 in 200 and uh, to uh, inform the couples and the women about all the process that she has to go through and uh, also um, related to her pedigree or the documentation that we have in front of us uh, we can let them understand if they are at the prior risk to have a baby with a Down syndrome or also if she already had a baby with Down syndrome and the, recru the recurrence risk of another uh, pregnancy um, and the risk to have another baby with uh, Down syndrome. So if you made it to the end of the video, I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay safe.